Now then, guys, welcome to Strass Gaming. I'm Luke. This is my Chelsea Saving Football Manager 2020, and things are going really well at the minute. And I'm just going to jump straight into it. We've got a transfer to talk about. We've got quite a few other good things. So I'm going to start off saying, if you're new, leave a like, subscribe. Let's try and build the channel. 131 subscribers, drop down to, not a problem. We'll just get them back somewhere down the line. So it really does appreciate if people do subscribe, all that sort of stuff. If you like it, that is. You don't have to. Just let me know down below why you don't like it. Anyway, let's just get straight into it because I'm excited to play this. We are unbeaten in a shit ton of games. Um, we really are. The only blip that we had was against Everton. And we've done well. So the last time out, you saw us win against Watford 1-0. Beat Napoli 1-0 as well. Then we've gone on. We've beat West Brom 3-0. We beat Wolves 3-2, just. Uh, Brighton, we played them twice. Beat them 1-0. And then we beat them 2-0. Everton was in the FA Cup. We drew against Everton. It was 2-2. We had to come from behind twice. Uh, no, actually, no. They equalised. Sorry, we were. They scored first. We then took the lead, and then they equalised. Here's what it is. We had got a replay. We beat them three two eventually. We beat Stoke three one. Nice and simple. Everton, like we've just said, three one. And then Southampton four one. It was a, such a good game. Mason Mount, Abraham scoring. The scorers for us, Mount again, Callum hudson Adoy. I've probably just ruined one of the transfers, but it's fine. Eagle-eyed viewers probably would have seen it. So we've got Arsenal today, which is a big test. A big test for how we are in the league as well. So we've got Arsenal, currently in fourth place. Then we're going to play Preston in the fourth round of the FA Cup. So I thought, screw it, we're going to show that. I want to do the Man City game as well at some point. So I'm just going to do probably these two games. And then maybe just like a short little Man City game, just the one game in it because then I have to come back at some point probably do the second leg of the inter game I'm thinking but I'll figure it out as we go along so what we're going to do first league or transfer transfer um it actually wasn't me that got this transfer through we got Domaruma the goalkeeper from Milan for 50 million pounds I tried to sign him and they wanted 150 million but I set my board to try and sign him and they managed to buy him for 50 million quid, which I don't really understand. But we've got Domaruma for 50, like 50 million. He's on quite a bit of a wage, 145 million. I didn't realise as well. Oh no, he's, he's 22. I read the caps as 30 then. I was like, what? Is that old? No. So for, he's going to be good. He's, he's the goalkeeper we need, really, for Kepa. He doesn't look as good apparently on there than he should have done. But then we've also bought in this guy that I can't pronounce his name. But Nico, he's another goalkeeper, another wonder kid that... Is he a wonder kid? He's a future prospect anyway. Add to the, the youngsters of goalkeepers that we actually have. I forgot that I bought a couple that, that I've already been playing as well. So we're going to add that. So we've got one, two, three. Three decent kind of load of potential. No, two. We've got three decent potential goalkeepers anyway. I don't know which one he's in. He must have been in the under-23s, is he? Yeah, he's in the under-23s as a goalkeeper there. So we've got three good up-and-coming kind of goalkeepers so that's that really it's 195 million pound we've spent this season oh for 30 million pound on neves that was a bit of a waste wasn't it oops anyway so yeah uh and then league that's what we need to look at i always go scouting when i want league uh we want competitions we are top of the blooming league which is awesome we are six points ahead of man city um, we've got a game in hand on Liverpool. We're six points ahead of them. We're seven points ahead of Arsenal. So if we win today, I feel like this year may be our year to win the league. And that's what I wanted to do with Chelsea. Just get them to win the league. Um, but it'd be nice to maybe get a Champions League win in there. Another FA Cup. Because we've won the FA Cup in the first season. We'll see We'll see that. But we've got players all over there. Um, all over the um, kind of records as well. Uh, Mason Mount is the third top goal scorer in the league. Shows how much he's come on for us this season. Uh, he's got the average highest rate in the most amount of assists. Um, he's got the most play of the matches. Kepa's actually got most of the clean sheets, which is down top to the defence as well I've got. So Kepa is still featuring the team. I'm not just dropping him straight away, even though I kind of have a little bit. But yeah, that's that. So we've got Arsenal. So we're just going to jump straight into it. So that's what we need to go to. Um, so this is how we're going to be lining up today. Double room is going to be in goal. Prayer on the right, Tamare, Christensen, uh, Edmondson on the left-hand side. We have got a couple of injuries, uh, Chilwell and Sterling's coming back from his injury. 
Amdu, I feel like, should be on the bench. I don't think we know. We don't have a centre-back on the bench. Uh, who am I going to sacrifice? Uh, Abraham Hudson to die. Ooh. It's either Hudson to die. Ah, oh, there we go. I know who we're going to sacrifice. Amdu can go on there. So, yeah, that's the back. That's the defensive lot. Uh, Kante and Kovacic as the midfield too. But even though Kante kind of falling out of favour a little bit with him. He's, he, yeah, his average rating's doing all right there, but he's not been performing to as good as standards as he should be. Pulicic is starting on that right-hand side. Again, he, he's putting in some good good games now. Mason Mount, he's just been class. Chiesa needs to probably start scoring a few more goals, if I'm all honest. He's only scored two goals for us. He is wanted by Barcelona. Maybe a chance to sell him to get some big money and bring in someone else. Maybe like Rashford, potentially. I'm not too sure. Um, or we just could keep him around. And Handelan is going to start up top, 13 goals, catching Abraham already on his goals. And he came in, obviously, at the beginning of the season. We've been swapping and changing between the two. Abraham's dropped down in star rating, but that's generally just because we've got better players in now. I do feel sorry for him. He's on a hell of a lot of money, uh, £250,000 a week. He's not... Well, he's, he is actually, to be honest with you, performing just as good near enough as last season. Halfway through, 15... Games played in the league, 11 goals, two assists, one player of the match. Highest average rate in the last season. So he's going well as well. So it's nice to have the, the two to swap around. So enough talking. Let's get into the game and see how I get on. I think thinking maybe changes. Um, another right back prayer. I don't think it's really holding up to be just as good as well. We've got James, who's done well, but not that great. Left back wise as well. Probably need to look to... Get someone that just that little bit better. We owe Arsenal from that like, happened last time. I'm guessing they beat us. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Still, the defense isn't great. Uh, so we'll just sort the defense out maybe in January if we if we do another season. If we win the league, I don't know if I'm going to continue. I might. I want to. Might. I kind of want to do something else. Um, I don't know what. Um, we've just got a goal there from Luke Shaw putting it in for us. Thank you very much, Luke Shaw. What a stupid own goal this is. Mason Mount plays it to Chiesa. He just whips a cross in. And Lucas, Luke Shaw is just there. Just taps it in. Thank, thank you very much. 1-0 <laughs> up within five minutes. Uh, is Luke Shaw going to actually score for him now? Don't know who that kid is. Good shot, though. Damaruma doing well with his first save of the game. So, yeah, we, we do need to strengthen. I don't know if I'm going to keep going and try and win the win the Champions League. I kind of just wanted to win the league with Chelsea. I wanted to beat the five-year plan and that was the five-year plan, win the Premier League. It was never win the Champions League. If we get there, we can do it. We'll see what people think at the end of the season, whether I carry on with it. Depend that's if we win the league. There's still a lot of football to be played yet. We're still in January. Um, a win here today would be awesome. So, I've got to keep going. I want to start my one-season wonder thing. If you don't know what that is, I did it last year with a couple of teams. I say it a couple of teams. I only, yeah, I only did it with Man United and Fiorentina. It's pretty much where I just have one team, cancel the uh, transfer window, so I just start with the players they've got and just try and do one season, see how well I do. When it gets to January, then if I've got money, I can make transfers. We'll see who we need and we'll just try and do that. And I try and do it with the big teams. Like I say, we, Fiorentina I did because it was requested by someone and I can't remember who and Arsenal go close now. I really do apologise. If you're watching that, just say down below who it was who you suggested Fiorentina to. I'm thinking maybe Real Madrid, maybe Barcelona. Kind of them teams. I've not really played with them. I've not played with Messi. I really wanted to play with Ronaldo. For some reason as well, I really want to have a team with Bale in it. I feel like he's just class, but I'll figure it out as we go along. So that sort of thing might do a team in Germany. PSG. I would do PSG because I... But I did that in my uh, Road to Glory last season. Not Road to, yeah, it was Road to, uh, Journeyman last season. We've just given a penalty away. I've just been speaking all the way through this game so far. That's going to be fun for me to edit. Missed this penalty. Damaruma concedes it. Doesn't save his first penalty that he has against him. Looking at this, though, we've not been... Well, we haven't had any possession. 38 pos possession is just not on for us, really. Let's just demand more and try and get some of this possession back. 1-1 one, one half time. We've had the more shots... They've had all the possession. I am far from pleased. We're at home. We should be doing better. Especially keeping the ball. Mm, go on a kick straight away. Thought we just gave another penalty away. Mount, though. What can you do from here? Running down the wing, Mount. Crosses it in. Kante. What a goal from Kante. I don't know what the celebration was. He did a weird 
leg flip as his celebration then. That was pretty cool. But that was a, such a good finish from Kante. We don't really get much of it. He just gets it in there, just levers it. And then do we get to see his lovely uh, little celebration he just did? Uh, okay, it was, okay, it was a front roll. Didn't do that before though, did he? Right, just after half time. I gave him a bollocking. We score straight away. They have a have a chance. And um Dominic makes the save. Corner kick comes in. And it is probably a bit harsh chucking Donnarumma as well into these big games. Um, I think for all the cup games, Kep is still going to play Champions League, FA Cup. Still, Emerson tries to get the crossing case. Is there looking to win the ball? It doesn't. Do we get a penalty this time? We do get a penalty. And it's Mason Mount to take it. We're probably going to miss. He's probably going to hit it to the left and they're going to save it. No, he hits it to the right and he saves it. I know we're going to miss the penalty because we always do. Uh, I missed a really important one in my... Road to Glory with Harrogate, if you go watch that. Uh, I missed, in the last episode, I think, I missed a really important penalty. Or did I do that this morning without recording? I can't remember. But anyway, penalties and don't seem to score a lot of when we get them, unfortunately. But I am need to think about making some changes. But we are doing a bit better. We've still not got possession, though. But we are on the attack, so hopefully we'll just build up possession. Keep hold of it. Considering we've got 37% possession, 38, we are pinning... Arsenal down in their half. Kays is in. Can he square it? He can't. Loses out. Kays on that left-hand side. Isn't doing great, is he? Christensen loses out there. What's he done there? That's stupid. Bamian's in. Don't give a Bamian that sort of chance. Corner for Arsenal. They're probably going to level this now with a set piece. Ruin my unbeaten run. You really are going to ruin my unbeaten run, aren't you? Kante wins it. Well, what a player he is, even though I was just slagging him off. He loses it out. Stupid player. Told you. Right. Substitutions. Um, tomorrow is looking absolutely shattered. I don't like taking defenders off, but I'm going to. And I'm thinking Abraham. I'm going to make a double sub now. Take Hanlan ain't doing great. We'll, we'll put Abraham on and just see how he gets on. Pulisic isn't having a great game. Neves, I'm probably going to bring on just to try and get some more game time for him. He complained a little bit about game time. I've not really given him the chance. He had a good season last season at Ajax. Well, the past couple of seasons, he's had some good games. So we'll just see how... Uh, how he'll get on. Probably should bring him on sooner rather than later, but we'll uh, see how this pans out. We managed to get it clear. Chiesa down this left-hand side. Can he get his pass off? He has a shot instead. Plenty of people he could pass in front of. Um, right. Pulitic, off you come. See, he moaned at the beginning of the season that he wanted to leave because he just thought, oh, you've you've signed too many players in a position. I'm not going to play you. But that was, it was all for the left-hand side. Sterling was to play on the left-hand side. We are kind of missing him a bit. Sterling, I say missing him, we've not lost the game in a while, but I am missing him being in the team, I'm not a big fan of Chiesa at the minute, he's not been performing to the standards that I want, and Sterling was scoring goals on the wing, so we need someone to come back and do that, Chiesa beats his man though, and again has a stupid shot, what are you doing, shooting from there when you have plenty of people to pass to, alright, whoops, so why is Mount not taking the corners either? Oh, things are just going wrong. Abraham to Neves. I thought he was going to get his first goal for us there. Right, which is nice little one-touch passing going on here. If this comes a goal, it's going to be an awesome goal. And Abraham has his chance. Doesn't work. Four minutes to go. Right, do not let them score now. They've just scored. Is it disallowed? The goal has been disallowed. Oh, my God. How? We're not going to see it properly with this. Second. Look how tight that is. I think his shoelace was offside. We'll take that. And then we win. They get a goal disallowed in like the last minute. We miss a penalty. We have 42% possession. I don't have a feckin' clue what was going on. But that was awesome. That really was. We got the win. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to go pre play Preston in the FA Cup. We have a very rotated team. I'm going to try and play some of the youngsters that you haven't really seen. Well, that took me a while to get to this game. I was too busy faffing around with everything. This is how we're going to line up then against Preston. Away, quite a young team. I don't know how Preston are doing. Do we have a look at this first before we go for the team? I don't want to do that schedule. How are Preston and what league are they in? This is where it's going to go wrong. Come on, load up Preston. They're 16th in the championship. How is the championship looking? We've got David Moyes as a manager. And here is how it's lining up. So they're just kind of mid-table. That's fine. It should be nice and easy for us. 
Let's go back. Line up. This is how we're going to line up. Kepa in goal. Reese James, Tomorrow, Amdu. Emerson is having to play at left back because Chilwell is injured still. Uh, I don't want Kante. I want Beck. Uh, Beek even. Uh, See, so we've got Nicholas and Beek as the midfield two. I'd usually use Bate, but he just isn't isn't progressing as much. I know he played the past couple of seasons. I'm just leaving him in where he is. Nevers is going to be starting. Uh, is it Anjoin? He's going to be playing. Again, he was progressing quite well, but we haven't really played him, and I feel like it'd be a player that breakthrough hot prospect. We'll give him a game, see how he gets on. Left-hand side, hudson Adoy, And then the youngster we got, was it last season? Mm, maybe the first season, Ben Beachy as the... Um, He's just a youngster. It looks a bit promising. We'll give him some game time. He scored a goal for us as well in one of the games. I don't know when. One of the FA Cup games, I think it was, in a couple of seasons ago. So he has scored a goal in the FA Cup, I think. I might be making that up, but I don't know. They've gone quite defensive, I'd say. Is that Aaron Ramsey? No, it can't. It, it can't be the Aaron Ramsey. 32. Why does he not have a pitch? No, it's not. Okay. That's fine. Different one. Team talk done. I'm expecting a nice, easy victory here, but it's never going to be easy. We're away from home, and of course that Ramsey lad is going to score now because I clicked on him before the game. I'm I'm expecting to see some big games from Neves, Hudson Odoi, um, Beak. Yeah, he's been playing a bit out of position. Nicholas in midfield, and then the rest kind of take care of themselves. If Beachy doesn't have a great game, I've got Abraham that I can bring on. Um, and John, I've got I've got Mason Mount on the bench. You can come into anywhere. And Amp Do gets his first goal of the season. And what a lovely goal that was. It's a great header. Coming from who took the corner? Reese James. Reese James, by the way, he's absolutely he's been class. Doesn't look like Reese James down there though, does it? Uh, but yeah, he's been class for us, Reese James. For I, I don't play him as much. And I think if you start off as in like maybe a mid table table Premier League side, Reese James would be a class signing for you. I think he just would be awesome. Half time. We're only winning one nil. Um, just I'm far from. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased. We should be winning this more than one nil. We created more more chances. Beachy's not having a great game. Hudson the Doy not having a great game. And Neves again, just not having the games we want. And on in the middle, can he get across into Moore? James out to Emerson. Emerson has the shot. It's a good shot from Emerson as well. Again, he's different to what Chilwell can offer. Chilwell can score a couple of goals. He has done. We're going to make a change. I'm going to take off. I'll take Hudson to die off and bring on Asensio. Asensio needs to get some more game time in him. And I'm thinking, Reese James, a bit of a knock. Reese James captain today as well, which is nice to see. I'm going to leave him on a little bit longer. I may have to take him off, but I don't have anyone. Um, is Tamori on the bench? Hopefully tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is playing, but I don't think I've got Christensen on there. Oh, this could go very wrong. I ain't got a right back. No, I have got Christensen. So Christensen could go in. I could put... Tomorrow to the right hand side. Not really what I want to do with my subs, but it'll have to, won't it? All right, Asensio. That I don't even know what that was from Asensio. Right, making a sub. Reese James. His conditioning's looking alright, so I'm gonna make one more. I don't know. I think the young lad up top not had a great game. We'll get him off. He's done well, he's played 70 minutes. We've Plays around him that should maybe feed him a little bit better. We'll put Abraham on. on. Maybe should have started Abraham and brought on him later on. We'll see. And I'm just going to just watch the conditioning. I'm not too fussed. I kind of... If I can rest Christensen, I will. Because uh, him and Tamore have had a lot of games played. Emerson, has he just scored a wonder goal? No, he hasn't. It just froze just at the point where it looked like it was going to be an absolute wonder goal. In fact, I've just realised I've got Pereira on the bench. We'll just bring him on for the last minute. Well, that was a boring game, on it? We scored with 23 minutes in. Um, well done. I'm just going to say well done. I'm not going to be angry at them. It's a rotated side. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup, which we'll take. I want us to win the FA Cup at least one more time before the start of this season. Would be good. Um, like I said, I'm going to be back. I'm probably just going to come back and just do a short little episode. Just the one game against Man City. We'll go through any more transfers. We've got the deadline day in between. So I'm going to play Stoke offline. We're going to come back. We'll just do Man City because they're fourth in the league. It's a big game. I can't really miss it out. And then after that, you're probably looking, 
I could do Leicester and Inter. Leicester at the bottom, Inter probably there. Again, I could just do maybe just the one game. But I'm thinking maybe just play through, play Inter and Sheffield United. If we win, well, we will get an FA Cup game in between here somewhere. So, oh, there it is there. So, uh, it's just going to be difficult. I'll figure it out anyway. And I'm sure I'll get my head around it all. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See you in a bit.